This is a part two to a video I had made on how to boost your credit score fast by paying down 95% of your statement balance on a certain date. But what if you don't have 95% of your statement balance to spare? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can get around that and still boost our credit score fast. Let's get into it. So in part one, which I'll have linked right here somewhere, I go into detail about how this hack works. But to very quickly recap, what we're trying to do is bring our credit usage lower than what you have it at right now. Let's say you have a thousand dollar credit card maxed out. That puts you at a hundred percent credit usage. That's the worst place you can be if you're trying to build a better credit score. So what we need to do is bring that usage under 7%. And that's better said than done, right? Because we have two major obstacles. One, you may not have that money to spare. And two, if you make your payment just regular, meaning you just pay it before your due date, you're gonna have to wait up to two months for it to report on your credit report. So not only would you have to pay 95% of your statement balance, you also wouldn't be able to use that card for up to two months because you'd have to wait for that balance to reflect on your credit report. So this hack is not to bring down your credit balance and keep it there. This is a temporary credit boost. If you're trying to buy a new car, if you want that new credit card with the higher credit limit, anything where you need that credit boost fast, all right, so to start, there's a few important dates on a credit card bill. So we have our opening date, our closing date, statement date, and reporting date. These three days right here fall within 24 hours of each other. And then we go all the way over here to due date. So when we receive our bill, we get it after the statement date, but before the due date. So we see our bill, we open it up, and we see, okay, we owe $100 by the 21st, right? It's usually 21 days after your statement date. That's our grace period to make our payment. So we say, okay, well, I'm going to pay 95% statement balance before my due date. Well, that's not going to do anything because if you do that, we have to wait for a new billing cycle for it to report on your credit report. This bracket over here, we don't need to worry about because it's not doing anything to help our credit. So what we want to do in order for it to report quick on a credit report is pay it three days before the closing date because closing date, statement date, and reporting date all fall within 24 hours of each other. So if you pay it three days before your statement date, it's going to report on your credit report that you paid 95% off. Now you only have 5% usage. And the reason we're waiting three days is because there's processing time. So if you paid a day or two before, it might not reflect on your report because it hasn't cleared yet. So we're going to pay it three days before your closing date. What if you don't have 95% to spare to make that payment? Well, this is what you're going to do. So we're going to stay with the example of a thousand dollar credit card maxed out. So 95% of that would be $950. So what do you do with $950? What do you use that money for? Paying bills, entertainment, regular stuff, right? So instead of just using that money on your debit card or using it as cash, what we're gonna do is take that money and pay our credit card with it. We won't be able to touch that money for a total of about four days because you're paying it three days before your statement date and then 24 hours after that date. At that time, your new balance is being reported to your credit reports. So after that, you can use this money as you normally would. You're just not using it from your bank account. You're using it from your credit card. And most bills, you can make that payment with a credit card, right? So it's not like you're making this payment and you're not able to touch that money anymore or you're using it to bring your balance down permanently. It's a temporary fix. So after we make that payment, that money's yours. Do whatever you want with it. The only difference is now your credit report is going to show 5% usage, putting us in the perfect spot for the highest possible credit score. I will point out a day after your statement date, all right, Right, you're ready to see your new credit score. You go to Experian TransUnion Equifax, your credit reports, right? You want to see your new score and you see it hasn't moved. Nothing has happened yet. Well, it will take up to seven days for it to reflect on your credit reports. That doesn't mean you can't touch that money for seven days. It just means it hasn't been updated yet. That's just a quick and easy hack to temporarily boost your credit score. Now, if you want a permanent fix, if you have any collections, negative items, or charge-offs on your credit report, check out my credit repair course linked in the description. It has proven results of getting those stuck negative items and collections off your credit report. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. See you next time.